so in this lecture, what we talked about was really something that I think is really cool, which is the propagation of action potentials. So you might be thinking, okay, nervous system, yeah, whatever. Remember, this is big picture. This get back, gets back to homeostasis, right? First lecture, homeostasis, that maintenance of those relatively stable internal environments. And this is important because the nervous system, along with the endocrine system, which Dr. Baya will talk about, are really important in maintaining homeostasis. So how does the nervous system do this? So it does this through action potentials. So we spent some time today talking about action potentials in terms of how they're propagated. We talked about um, the setup of the neuron in general. And one thing that we compared and contrasted was this idea of graded potentials versus action potentials. So remember, graded potentials, they can change over time, they have a varying duration, they have a varying amplitude, whereas action potentials do not. And graded potentials can cause action potentials if threshold is reached, remember, at that axon hillock. So that's really the trigger point. That threshold is really important. If you don't have that threshold reached at the axon hillock, then you won't have any action potential firing. Now those action potentials are caused by the depolarization of the neuron. So we talked about the different phases. We talked about depolarization, repolarization, hyperpolarization. And that depolarization of the neuron, when we get down to it, is ultimately caused by the opening of these voltage-gated sodium channels. All right, voltage-gated because they respond to an open in response to a change in voltage. And what is that change in voltage? That threshold. All right, so again, this is the big picture of how the nervous system, homeostasis, action and potentials and graded potentials translate into one another. And now, future Sarah, I gotta ask, please don't tell me that you told that gross joke story again about the nerve, now the guy cut the nerve, and ugh, it's just giving me chills again thinking about it. So I'm sure you did, but anyways, I'm sorry students, future students, for that. But anyways, here's your big picture of action potentials, graded potentials, and really a summary of this lecture.